G'day, this is Donna. Welcome to another process video from Craft With Us Australia. Today we are going to show you our take on a shaker card using a wood veneer flower. To start off with, I'm using an A6 card base, which is an A4 piece, A5 beg your pardon, piece of card folded in half. And then I'm going to have a mat on that, which is 10.2 centimetres by 14.5 centimetres. Now I've got another mat that's going on top of that again. This one is 6 centimetres by 12.5 centimetres. So you can see that the top mat I've made the same colour as my card, the card base. I've put double-sided tape all around the edge of this piece of card and I'm just lifting it up in opposite corners. I'm then able to place the card on my base mat here, position it, make sure it's straight, that I'm all happy with it. I can then press down the corners that have the tape lifted up and then just remove the tape from underneath. This means that I have perfect position pieces every time. I've just flipped the card over and on the back I'm drawing around the outside of my wood veneer flower. So remembering that this is the mirror image so it's not the side I want it to be on the completed card because this is the back. I'm now using the wood veneer, the inside, I'm drawing just inside the top of those little petals as well. And you'll see that what it'll actually give me is a guideline of where I can rough cut around. So um, the cut mark, the cut line will be uh, it covered totally by the wood veneer flower. So I'm just cutting in there. When it's all together, you'll see what I mean. So I've cut that off. We flip it over. Just flatten it out a little bit. And you can see that now my wood veneer flower fits on that perfectly. So I'm just now going to attach my... Um, the clear acetate to the top of my wood veneer card flower and I'm actually doing that with diamond glaze because it's uh, a couple of reasons it adheres beautifully you cannot see the diamond glaze glue as such through the acetate it doesn't leave a residue like most other glues do it's nice and glossy so I'm just pressing that down and I'm just going to put it aside to make sure it dries I actually believe I put a book on it to make sure it was nice and heavy so now back to the card here. We're going to do a little bit of work. This is a piece of craft foam. So I'm just going to position the craft foam underneath my top mat and draw the rough cut flower that we've put in there. So we're using, we're popping this up so we can put more of our shaker bits and pieces in the hole so it's a little bit deeper. I'm going to cut that with a circle because we're not going to see it. So I'm just making sure that the circle that I cut is going to be of the suitable size for the flower. So I found the circle that I want. I've placed my die on it. And I'm just going to put this through my die cut machine, my cuddle bug. So um, the, the foam goes through beautifully. Now I'm just attaching some double-sided tape. And I'm putting some glue through my bottle that's got a fine tip all around the edge of that circle. I much prefer to use glue on the uh, around the circle rather than tape because it gives me a finer line. We are then going to attach this on the card base. Once again, I'm going to do uh, the little trick with pulling up the tape on opposing corners so I can position it perfectly. I make sure that I really secure around the circle by pressing down on that glue. Then, of course, I can just remove the tape from underneath the edges. And that's so, this is directly on my card that I've added the foam. Now, I've cut this circle, which is the same size circle, um, using my die cut out of glitter cardstock. I'm just popping some glue on the back of that. You could put double sided tape if you wanted to. I just put the glue on because it was handy. And I'm just going to pop that in the hole. So I've got a bit of glitter behind my sequins that I'm going to put in here just to add a little bit more bling. Make sure that that's nice and secure. So this is a little bit of a mistake here. I'm going to actually add this to the top. But what I should have done is put my ribbon on it first. But you'll see how I get around that a little bit later on. So once again, I've put tape around the edges, I've put glue around the circle and I'm going to make sure that this is all lined up perfectly. So I can see it's a little bit smaller than my card base so I should be able to see all of the edges around the outside of that, which I can. It's all positioned, all firm around the circle and then I can remove my tape. 
That was just a little bit of a double check there to make sure it was perfect. I'm a wee bit of a perfectionist. So now we're going to cut around the acetate. Now this is not the way to do this, by the way. I discovered that this wasn't as tidy as I wanted it to be. So um, I did try and make this card, I did make this card again and I used, used my flower again as a template and drew a line on the acetate around the outside with a sharpie. But you can see that that's beautiful and that will fit on. I decided that rather than have it portrait though, I'd like to have it landscape. So I flipped the card around. It gives me a nice look. I guess it was lucky I didn't put the ribbon on it. So now I've got to try and figure out how to do that, but I will show you. I really like the peach colour with the green and the white and I've got sequins to match so I'm just popping the sequins in there and that little bit of glitter on the back adds a little bit extra bling. You can see that I am going with a silver hugs greeting and that will match. Now it comes to adding our ribbon. I've decided to have a black strip. You can see that I'm just going to, this is just an off cut. I'm going to measure that and cut it up, snip it off. I'm now going to attach my ribbon to that black strip. So I've put double sided tape on the back side of the strip. I'm adding the ribbon to one end and I'm pulling it across and I'm going to put it on the other end. I've never really had much success with gluing or taping down my ribbon. You can always see it through the, the ribbon itself, even though this is a lovely double sided satin ribbon. But this way, of course, that problem is, it, it, well, it's not a problem, is eliminated. So I've attached that. If you don't want to see a strip of the, of the card from either side of your ribbon, if this is the case, you can just cut your card stock narrower. So now I'm just going to make a little stack. I've cut out the um, hugs uh, greeting several times with my die cutting machine and I'm going to stack them on top of one another. You can see that I've actually cut out hugs uh, in black four times but I'm only going to use three and then the silver on the top. And of course the silver hug screening will match the little bit of glitter. It's out of the same glitter cardstock that I've got at the back of the uh, flower that's got my sequins in it. You can see I'm adding a bit of glue here. I do add, a, you know, like probably more than really need, but it just takes a little bit longer to dry then. So it gives me a little bit more time to move it around. So I've done my stack and I've just added my silver cardstock on the top and I'm going to put that aside and pop one of my cutting plates actually on top of that just while I work on, just to let it dry a little bit. It doesn't really need it. All right, so now we're going to finish putting everything together. So we're, I'm just flattening down the sequins there to make sure that they're not poking up. So my flower will go nice and smoothly on the top. And then here we are putting some more of this Aileen's Tacky Glue around the outside of that rough cut. So because of the way that we rough cut this out, this should fit perfectly. We've already know that because we've had the flower on it and you won't see any of the glue, which keeps it beautifully and neat. So push that on, make it nice and firm, terrific. So our ribbon strip is going to go on. Now because we folded the ribbon underneath, it keeps it beautiful and neat. Um, and in actual fact, you would never know that it wasn't wrapped around the outside of the card like you would normally do, of course, if you didn't forget to put the ribbon on. I do really like this effect though, so it turned out quite well. Uh, here I am just putting glue on the back of my greeting and popping it on my card. Once I'd done this, I thought it just needed something else because I've always got to add a little bit more. So I made a little embellishment for the top of the flower to close that little hole. It was just a flower punch that I thought suited it out of black. I cut a dot out of the matching green for the card base, stuck the two together and now I'm covering it with diamond glaze which gives it a beautiful glossy finish. So no one would ever know that you had made that yourself and that you've put it on the card. It is just the way that the glossy accents works is just delightful. So once all that was done, all I needed to do was add some sequins. So I have them positioned there. I'm just going to glue them on. So I'm using my little um, tacky tool from uh, Silhouette there and some tweezers. 
I put them where I wanted to and now I'm just picking them up individually and popping that on top. So this was actually a bit of a challenge, this card, because I challenged myself to use up the wood veneers and this is what I came up with. I'm really excited how it turned out though and I think it's going to be a favoured card. You could do it with a Christmas theme, with all sorts of things that would be lovely and different wood veneers as well. So I'd like to really thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the video and learned something and I hope to see you again. Please don't forget to subscribe and to give our video a thumbs up. Thanks. Catch ya.